Hello everyone and welcome back to another video brought to you by SeniorCatWellness.com. If you enjoy today's presentation and find it informative, please feel free to subscribe to this channel, like the video, and share the content. Today's video subject, how to get a cat with teeth problems to eat food. Before we begin, let's first take a look at today's topic overview. If your cat isn't eating due to dental pain, encourage some degree of nourishment. Manage your cat's pain and tempt it into eating with Stimulating scents provide an appetite stimulant as well as soft food. Liquid food is also acceptable as long as it's nutritious. Is a dental issue the real issue? Is that why life has become difficult for your cat during mealtime? Before anything else, it's important to make sure that the reason your cat is refusing food or having trouble finishing a meal is indeed due to dental concerns. Potential warning signs can include visible plaque, tartar, and staining on the teeth, drooling, especially from one side of the face, pawing at the face, foul breath, refusing to play with toys, specifically chew toys, discoloring of the gums, bleeding from the gums, swelling in and around the tongue, and an aggressive response to being touched on the face. As we've mentioned time and time again, cats are quite good at masking pain so many times, and this is no exception, some type of visual cue will have to tip you off. Although not listed in our rundown, also be mindful of cracked or broken teeth and even blatant tooth loss. When it comes to oral pain and those root causes, no pun intended, we offer the following. Gingivitis. Periodontal disease, which is gingivitis that has gone unchecked, a far more serious form of inflammation. Tooth resorption. This is a loss of tooth integrity. It can lead to deterioration in cavities. Lower teeth are often the most susceptible. The aforementioned cracks and fractures. Abscesses. If your cat has a broken tooth, bacteria can potentially enter the exposed root canal, potentially leading to the rotting and death of the tooth. And finally, malocclusions. This is the unnatural positioning of the teeth, often caused by a birth defect or trauma to the jaw. Overbite or underbite are common. Quite often a cat is unable to close its mouth without biting its gums. Before we provide our list of potentially helpful tips, it must be stated that not every suggestion will work, primarily due to the fact that every cat is different and one dental issue is certainly not the same as another. Just the pain and discomfort factor alone will vary. It must also be stated that a few helpful tips will not work if your cat's dental issues are severe. If your cat requires some level of surgery or tooth removal, then it's critical to follow your vet's instructions above all else. Having said that, we do offer up the following. Encourage your cat to eat. While this seems rather obvious, you'd be surprised. Some cats will eat. They're just not willing to make the effort. Pain and discomfort, even of a minor level, can cause some felines to become a bit stubborn. Always be a source of encouragement. Next up, pain management. Prescription medication from a vet can do wonders in many cases. Never, under any circumstance, give your cat any type of medication without first consulting with a professional. Next, we have the brushing of teeth. Depending on the diagnosis, gentle brushing can ease your cat's discomfort and even help to eliminate certain dental issues. The buildup of tartar and plaque, that's just one example. Next, we have appetite stimulants. Local pet stores can provide over-the-counter appetite stimulants that can prove effective. And finally, offer up tempting food. This is all about appealing to your cat's sense of smell. Your cat is likely to give it a go or at least make a better effort to consume food if it's offered up with, let's just say, drizzled tuna juice or gravy. Soft food that smells great will get your cat's attention. If you would like more information concerning today's subject matter, 
including what to do if your cat fails to eat after having a tooth or teeth extracted, and the positive steps you can take if your cat is refusing to eat after a teeth cleaning. Please click the initial link in the description box below and join us over at SeniorCatWellness.com. Before we conclude today, it must be stated once again that this topic, like so many others, is a case-by-case -case basis. Dental issues can be wide-ranging, both when it comes to the scale of discomfort all the way to the scale of actual severity. This is why professional care is so very important, and that's what we encourage above all else. If your cat is showing symptoms similar to the ones we noted in this presentation, then having your cat undergo a thorough dental exam becomes essential. Having said all of that, we sincerely hope that what was offered up here today can be of help and of service to you in the present and in the future. And once again, feel free to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel if this type of content is of interest to you. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later.